since Vlad started this criminology interview interrogator, uh, like Vlad do interrogating. This other dude, he do instigating and interrogating, right? But since then, since this culture of dudes going on 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 um doing these interviews and talking about street shit and and, and cases and bragging about the streets and, and and the shit that they did in the streets and everything. Think about how many rappers got locked up. Think about it. Think about how many rappers got locked up in the last three years. I wonder if there's somebody that wrote, let me see how many rappers went to jail. Since 2020. No, not 2020. That's just three years. Let's see, 2018. Let's give it five years. I don't have to do where rappers went to jail. Let's see. But rappers went to jail in 2018. So 6 9 got arrested and charged in 2018, right? Fetty Wap went to jail. Remember? Fetty Wap was another one that went to jail. Forgot about him. Look at this. MZ actually obtained a pretty crazy video of the arrest showing cops pulling Ty and six others out of the car, searching the vehicle with drug dogs, and eventually arresting Ty. Now, just a couple of days ago on December 10th, Ty was officially indicted on drug charges with felony possession of cocaine, felony possession of THC, and a misdemeanor possession of less than one ounce of weed. Now, there have been headlines stating that Ty Dolla Sign is facing up to 15 years in prison, but according to his lawyer, Ty Dolla Sign maintains his innocence, and they were expecting this indictment as it's just, you know, a part of the process in resolving this case.
Young Thug was arrested back in November for a failed drug test, but this arrest actually stems back to an arrest in 2017. So back in September 2017, Young Thug was pulled over in Georgia for having tinted front windows, but there was also quite a bit of drugs found in the car. Originally when he was arrested, TMZ reported that Young Thug was charged with one count of marijuana possession, but in September of this year, Young Thug was hit with eight felonies. Thug was charged with possession and intent to distribute meth, hydrocodone, and weed. He was also charged with possession of amphetamines, Xanax, two counts of codeine, and a firearm. So all of that led to Thug's arrest in November when a Georgia judge revoked his bond during the arraignment for this drug case after Thug failed a drug test. Now, Young Thug only spent six days in jail. He was actually released under the condition that he submits random drug tests twice a week and attends substance abuse counseling. Although he's currently free, he still has to deal with this insane eight felony case. So back in July, Offset was pulled over in Atlanta for an improper lane change, but he was actually hit with more charges than that after police found multiple guns and weed in the car. Offset was hit with four charges, possession of a firearm by a felon, possession of a weapon during a crime, possession of marijuana, and an improper lane change. Now his lawyer thinks the charges are BS. He told TMZ, it's a common theme. We're talking about a young African-American man driving a shiny, beautiful luxury car and clad in designer clothing and watches and jewelry. Unfortunately, people in his genre become a target for law enforcement who think that lifestyle is connected to some illegal activity. And that's a sad statement. His lawyer also said that Offset wasn't in possession of any firearm that actually belonged to his assistant, who is a licensed gun holder who had the firearm for security. Now Lil Pump has been arrested three different times in 2018. The first one's going back to February when Lil Pump accidentally fired off a gun while home alone, leading to him being put on house arrest. The second one came in August when Lil Pump was pulled over while driving his Rolls Royce for an issue with his license plate. After being pulled over, he was arrested for not having a driver's license, but he only ended up with a ticket. And his third arrest actually happened just a few days ago on December 4th while Lil Pump was overseas in Denmark. Apparently his crew was detained for some unknown reason and as they were on their way to the police station, Lil Pump decided to go live on Instagram and flip off one of the cops behind their back. The police ended up seeing this and had him detained for a lot longer than originally planned because, you know, Lil Pump flipped him off, causing Lil Pump to miss his show in Finland. Now, YG has a pretty wild story here, right? after getting arrested back in June for robbery. The incident of the robbery actually went down in May. Now, according to police, a man approached YG and asked for a picture, but he was turned away. The guy then told YG he's not a real celeb. A casino surveillance footage shows YG yanking a chain off the dude's neck. The chain falls to the ground. YG picks up the chain and takes off. And with that, YG is facing felony robbery charges along with the dude suing YG for at least $250,000. Now, Chris Brown was arrested back in June, stemming from an incident that happened over a year before. Back in April 2017, Chris Brown was making an appearance at a nightclub in Florida when he allegedly attacked a photographer after Chris Brown's team told the in-house photographers no pictures. Chris Brown and his team left after the incident, and that leads us to his arrest in June. Chris Brown was immediately arrested after a concert in Florida, and he was arrested for an outstanding felony arrest warrant that was in connection with this alleged attack. Chris Brown ended up bailing out a few hours later, for $2,000. Now Trippy Red and Lil Wop were both arrested together back in May after they allegedly jumped a local rapper FDM Grady in Atlanta. Now allegedly this all started over Trippy Red disrespecting Grady's girlfriend. According to TMZ, Grady admitted to initially pulling out a gun on Trippy Red but decided to put it down and fight him and that's when he was jumped by Trippy, Lil Wop, and two others. Now, both Trippy and Wop were hit with two misdemeanor charges, fighting and criminal trespassing, and Trippy was hit with another charge, simple battery. So back in June, Gunna was arrested out in Arkansas, and his arrest is one of the more tame ones on this list. You know, it wasn't crazy. He was arrested and charged with possession of a controlled substance. Don't know what the controlled substance was, but seems like it was a minor offense because it was only two grams. Really, the most serious thing about this is that Gunna missed a show because of it. All right, now I'm sure pretty much everyone knows by now that 6 9 was arrested on November 18th by the feds. He was hit with multiple serious charges, including racketeering, and he's potentially facing 32 years to life in prison. 
This is by far the most serious arrest on this list, and the entire situation is just not looking good for 6ix9ine. He was denied bail after offering up his entire bank account of $1.7 million and his passport, and it looks like he's going to be stuck in jail until at least September 2019 when his trial for this case begins. Now, 6ix9ine's lawyer recently came out and said Takashi would not be taking any plea deals and that they will prove his innocence. So I don't know what's going to happen with this case, but it's going to be pretty interesting to see how it plays out. A famous Dex was arrested back in May after accidentally running into a police investigation at a hotel. He was checking into a hotel in Manhattan while police were investigating a credit card fraud incident. And although Dex had nothing to do with that situation, police ended up running his name. And it turns out he had a warrant out for missing a court date for a public drinking violation. And he was also cited for a marijuana possession, according to TMZ. Now, g -Eazy is another rapper that was arrested overseas in Sweden back in May. It all started with an altercation that happened between g -Eazy and security at a club where he was partying at. During that altercation, g -Eazy was detained by police, and they also found cocaine in his pocket. TMZ also obtained some videos of the incident, one showing g -Eazy being put into a police car. The situation was pretty quickly resolved, though, with g -Eazy getting two years of probation and having to pay around $10,000 total in fines. Now, Kodak Black was one of the first rappers to be arrested in 2018 back in January, and this arrest had him locked up all the way until August. Now, Kodak was originally hit with a ridiculous amount of charges. He had grand theft of a firearm, two charges of possession of a weapon or ammo by a felon, possession of marijuana over 20 grams, neglect child without great bodily harm, and two... Did you know that you could get 50 to over $150,000 of investment capital at probation violation but the good news for kodak was that a majority of these charges were dropped leaving them getting out of jail pretty early in august and although jail is something that no one ever wants to go through kodak did try to take this negative situation and make it as positive as possible by you know taking steps to improve his life once he got out like getting a tutor to help him get his ged reading more books and even legally changing his name to bill G Herbo was also another early arrest here in 2018 with this going down back in February. This incident actually took place in Chicago. So while G Herbo and two others were riding in a limo, the driver noticed that all three of them had guns and he tipped off the police. So police eventually pulled the limo over and all three were arrested and charged with aggravated unlawful use of a weapon. NBA Youngboy is yet another early arrest going down back in February this year. And this situation is definitely one of the most serious ones on the list. Okay, he was picked up in Florida after police found out that he had a warrant out for his arrest for allegedly committing assault and kidnapping. And it was in March that he was indicted on these charges with TMZ obtaining a video of the incident leading to these charges. The video showed Youngboy body slam his girlfriend leading to the assault charge and then dragging her into a hotel room leading to the kidnapping charge. Now, Jim Jones might have the craziest arrest on this list, other than Takashi, of course. Back in June, Jim Jones was riding as a passenger in a car that cops were attempting to pull over, but the driver decided, you know what, we're going to make a run for it today. He gave the cops a chase, hitting a police car along the way, and they eventually did stop. And now, what the police found after searching the car explains why they were a little hesitant on stopping in the first place. Police ended up finding marijuana, oxycodone, Percocet, vape cartridges, THC oil, two loaded pistols, in cash. Now, Jones was originally released on a 7K bail, but in October, he was officially charged with five felonies, three counts of possession of a controlled substance, and two counts of possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. Jesus Christ. And we never heard nothing else about that goddamn case. We never heard nothing else about that goddamn case. But you had Rock Nation, she go away, Barbara. You never heard nothing else. Yo, do you notice how all these niggas be having all these charges and shit and nobody's going to jail? And y'all think these niggas, yeah, all right. I ain't gonna even say it. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Now, Jim Jones might have the craziest arrest on this list other than Takashi, of course. Back in June, Jim Jones was riding as a passenger in a car that cops were attempting to pull over, but the driver decided, you know what, we're going to make a run for it today. He gave the cops a chase, hitting a police car along the way, and they eventually did stop. And now, what the police found after searching the car explains why they were a little hesitant on stopping in the first place. Police ended up finding marijuana, oxycodone, Percocet, vape cartridges, THC oil, two loaded pistols, in cash. Now, Jones was originally released on a 7K bail, but in October, he was officially charged with five felonies, three counts of possession of a controlled substance, and two counts of possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. Jesus Christ. All right, kids, more. I haven't wonder, wonder what happened with that case. Seven felonies just go away and nigga don't go to jail and nigga don't give nothing. Okay. 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 Nigga caught on that wiretap, some super violate Takashi. Nothing happened. But on, on some real shit, like, yo, and like I said, no disrespect to, to Mom James, Reggie Wright, uh, uh, Keefe D. Like, yo, Reggie Wright, instead of be talking all this, I don't know if I should be giving niggas ideas, but Reggie should be teaching street niggas the law. Since he wanted to be a street nigga, or a gangster or whatever, why not come on YouTube and teach niggas the law? Fuck all these goddamn death row stories. Nigga, teach us how to beat the the, the, the system, nigga. Teach us the dirty the cop tricks that y'all do. Te teach niggas how to get pulled over and not get and not get shot. Tell, teach niggas how to uh comply with police officers the best way to handle certain situations. Or be the dirty cop and tell niggas how to get away with transporting weed and shit, how you got caught. Tell niggas how, and how not to get caught. Tell niggas about the rampart, teach niggas about the rampart scandal. Teach them how the cops is robbing the banks. Like, come on, bro. You got the real scoop on there, the real inside skinny on corrupt, dirty cops. Tell them story about the dirty cops, bro. How them niggas was robbing banks? Rafael Perez, and that's what we want to hear about. You ain't thinking about no Keefe D. Come on, Reggie, tell us how to rob banks and stuff. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them how the police get away with murder. Tell them why y'all got throwaway guns. Come on, man. That channel could be cracking, nigga. I bet you it's cops that don't don't like Reggie. Reggie, I bet you some cops that don't like you for what you stand on and what you're doing and getting on YouTube. I guarantee you it's a bunch of cops that don't like you. You think you got a show with a gangbanger and a cop, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas had a show called the Gangster Chronicles with a fucking cop, bro. Yo, I, you can't make this shit up, bro. As long as you got a mouth, yo, you can start a podcast too. 
Oh, you need the mouth to talk, God damn it. You think it had a show called the Gangster Chronicles, the cop on it. If I, if, I'm telling you, if I was Reggie, I'll be talking about all the fucking dirty cops that got away with shit. Or even the ones that got caught. Reggie, I just gave you a, a, a ill alley oop, bro. Man, talk about the dirty cops, bro. Talk about the cops that motherfuckers steal drugs out the evidence locker. Like that, yo, my nigga, you will, you will really be popping. I'm telling you. You gotta, you gotta switch the game, uh, Reggie. That death row shit is exhausting. Start talking about the dirty cops and what the dirty cops is and how you and teach niggas how to get away with crime. That's what you should be doing, man. You want to be a gangster, you gangster chronicle cop. Teach niggas how to get away with crime. You know what I mean? I know you know all the tricks of the trade. Crime pays, right? <laughs> but yeah, man. Puffy, man. You better get a lawyer, brother. These niggas done lined you up, bro. They lined you up, bro. You looking like my barber, Rich the Barber, and they hit you with the blade. Like, they lined you up. It's going to get ugly out here for you, Puff. It's definitely going to get ugly for you. Choke no joke, man. I'm gone. Chip. Legal hustle. Mega. You know what it is. It's choke no joke about killing heat. Left my boo and my dudes when I saw the heat. Was gone in 30 seconds, more like 23. Took flight like Mike, number 23. Before the indictment came, I split like Jaded, didn't get wet like Kane. Got out the game. I went from the tunnel, now movie making. So it ain't no confusing why you do me. Hey. Gangsta, 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 gangsta. In and out, I'm in your house like a bank job. with the spaceship troll. Yeah. Choke, no joke. Cameron Cole. Beat on the drums. Many a setting. Let's go out to the East Coast. West Coast. Put it up. Trees the trees and the palms of dealers and fiends. Late night roam the streets. Weed is weaker, but it's cheaper. Not many chicks frontin' like divas. Out west, every chick's a model like Eva, and you know I'm far from believing her. So I'm Ging her like she G and me. Banging in LA is a different thing. At the end, you either dead or on the bang, getting out, doing better things. On sunset, where they hang, Hollywood, where they hustle for change. Times Square here, it's the same. No matter where you go, you'll find a lane. On the west, they kick it with cane. On the east, trees, the souls you think. East coast, west coast, east coast, west coast. Grab your wraps, roll it up. If you rap, west coast, east coast. West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your glasses, take a toast. If you rep East Coast. When I'm on the West and I'm doing my thing, no offer me coke or your nose I bang. Friends don't offer other deadly things. Thanks for the hospitality, we'll still hang. I won't judge you, leave me as I came. On the road to success, top of the game. Eat all the finer things in the food chain. Teach my kids to do the same Whether East Coast, West Coast East Coast, West Coast Grab your wraps, roll it up If you rep West Coast East Coast, West Coast East Coast, West Coast Grab your
your glasses, take a toast if you rep East Coast. You gotta love life and all for wonderful things. Being the travel is a privileged thing. Came back to the East, air wasn't fresh. Streets filled with trash, various people in the eye. It's easy to tell who's upper middle class. Police and racism, same as crash. Back to where they not social, where they less vocal. When they don't know you, be careful. Show you around the East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. West Coast. Grab your wraps, roll it up. If you rap, East Coast, weather East Coast, West Coast, East Coast. West Coast, pop your bottles and toss the cork. If you rep West Coast, both coasts are known to give you fame. Got Papa Ross, he's playing cram is your way. Got you bobbing and weaving like cash is clay. Most thugs turn Muslim in older days. Change their name to a law they pray. Probably till they decay. This go out to the east and west. For big and pop, y'all, let's connect. Brother East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your wraps, roll it up. If you rep West Coast, brother East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. You can't get the West without the ES. So it's manifested that we connect. Uh. You know what it is. Choke, no joke. Learn from mistakes, baby. You know what it is. Greg on the track. Rest in peace, baby. Eat a wall, we in now. You know what it is. Uh, uh. Choke, no joke. You already know. <laughs> Y'all know I love that cooch. You know who this is. I love that cooch. It's, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's the A thing. Clean cooch. Let's go. Yo, what's up? My nuts when I wake up. Got morning wood and I just bust one. And my hog and knee. I'm Ron Osley. Between the sheets. And she want to ski. And just shout with me with what I thought was pee. She rolled the D. Her water broke B. Not pregnant. Baptize me. I'm down for more love, but change the sheet. She said, Please, I want more. Next thing I know, matches dripping the floor from her juices. Oral had me stoned, had a Korean and Medusa at one. And when I look in the eyes, between her thighs, I tell you no lie, ain't shit won't buy. I rob and take it for me to taste it. Red lobster, pussy, biscuit, freshly baked. Uh, eat that coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar spray. I love her. Cooch. I eat her coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar spray. I love her. Cooch. Suck my nuts when I wake up. Got morning wood and I just bust one. In my hog and knee, I'm Ron Osley. Between the sheets, and she want to ski. And just shout with me with what I thought was pee. She rolled the D, her water broke B. Not pregnant, but baptized me. I'm down for more love, but change the sheet. She said, please, I want more. Next thing I know, mattress dripping the floor from her juices. Oral had me stoned, had a Korean and Medusa at one. And when I look in her eyes, between her thighs, I tell you no lie. Shit won't buy. I rob and take it for me to taste it. Red lobster, pussy biscuit, freshly baked. Uh, eat that coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar spray. I love her. Yeah. 
hours for more cash. You go half on that coke yak. Get to the block, cause it get packed. Little babies, adults or crack. We feed them too, we don't pump like that. Plus, it's like us giving back. And they sales is the reason why we got so many. Packs of chicken, the hood not missing. Muslims said don't put pork on chicken. They got on Al about that, they thought he didn't listen. He wasn't been touched from them government missions. But they forget that when they bite that chicken. This is when the players get knocked, cause it's hot out. The sexy show out, glowing with the back glass on the mouth. She see you with the next chick, then she dumb out. Hustlers dumb out, just for nothing. Bussin' for attention, just dumbin'. Cause we know y'all ain't bussin' nothing. Life's a box of chocolates, you're riding a pipe, playing the bench, kids on the fence, watch your popo, chase prints, don't dismiss your brethren, for dumb shit, keep it gangsta, no shit where you live, 12 one right up in your crib, you never been nowhere, where else could you live, that's gangsta boo coming through, throwing it up, fucking his muffler up, scraping the concrete with Willie so sweet, he got his scores by the chief of police from 233rd Laconia to Gun Hill Road. Got knocked in intel like Joe. Very. Okay. <laughs> Choke, no joke. You know what it is. Yo, y'all niggas with a stay DL. Down low. Stop flossing, man. What you, you, what you just. You just want them to just come and get you? Learn from our mistakes, man. That's what this is about. Learn from mistakes. Choke no joke. Let's go. You already know. Make a low. Let's go. My aim was enlightened. Drop jewels on you. You thinking I'm jealous? I ain't got cheddar like you. I'm the dude to a game. You got school.